All right, just got word that the Ferrari's done. I'm swapping out the Evo to repair a couple of little things. You can't really see it, but there's a spot here. And they tried to do a repair here on the Expel. I don't know if you can see that, but nevertheless, swapping the Evo for the Ferrari F8 today. And uh, man, I'm excited. It's Oh, here we go, start up. Pause. Love the sound of this car. I know you've been waiting for a lot of F8 Tributo content and I'm sorry it hasn't come sooner, but as soon as the car got dropped off, you saw it. Uh, Randy came by with the Pagani Waira. He wants to do a race. Unfortunately, I had to punt that to a later date because it was being picked up to come down to Hughes Detailing down in Miami, Florida. Because man, you gotta protect these cars first before you do anything. I actually wanted to drive it down, and he's like, no, don't even drive it. Slap at it. He sent, the, he sent the truck over to pick it up, so as you saw, it came down here, and it's been down here a few days to get it perfected. So what we're doing on the car is, as you saw in the video, yes, I am wrapping this car. It is too much red. I got too much red in the garage, so I'm definitely going to change the color a little bit, a little bit, not the entire car. But first up, let's talk about protecting the car. And that's being done with the Expel. So sure. I'm picking up the car today and we use the new film. Well, first of all, let's talk about Ferrari paint because I sent it down. I'm like, how's the paint look? Because before you do anything to these cars, you got to completely color correct them because they do come in, even though it's Ferrari, correct. they come in with some blemishes. So he sent me a couple pictures. What do you think of Ferrari paint, yep. Brandon? Uh, well, Ferrari paint definitely has many great, awesome colors, but um, as far as Swirl marks, sanding marks, imperfections, Ferrari has their fair share of them. So what we want to do is before we put any sort of paint protection film on the car, we want to make sure the paint looks as glossy as possible, as clear as possible. That way when it's in the sun, the film goes over it, it looks perfect. Yeah, so he sent me a couple of pictures. I'm throwing them up as we talk of some of the swirl marks and blemishes right. and some sanding things where they yeah, had some paint And these are just issues. typical factory imperfections that right. get delivered right. um, with all these cars. So who's got the best paint? Uh, I would say Rolls Royce is up there. They yeah. definitely spent a lot of Rolls hours. Rolls Royce, huh? That's I'm not there. buying any Rolls Royces, <laughs> so I guess I'm not good. What about McLaren paint compared uh, to Ferrari? McLaren paint, uh, not too far off from Ferrari. Yeah, okay. And but Lambo? definitely have better color choices. Lamborghini? Uh, Lamborghini is actually pretty good for the most part. Pretty good for the most part? Depends on the yeah, car. maybe that Audi there could do a lot more painting of cars, yeah. right? So, more automated. Nevertheless, on this car, we're going with a new product for a relatively new product. It's Correct. the Expel 10 mil. It's not 10 milli meter it's 10 mil so that means mils. one thousandth of an inch so one thousandth of an inch so it's a thicker product it's actually 25 percent thicker than what you're used to using on uh, most cars and that's because it offers a little more thickness a little more protection uh, against rock chips you know this car is going to be on the track quite a bit so uh you know we wanted to get like the most protection in correct this, this so it's a product. slightly thicker slightly more durable film um, so basically it gives you even more protection against rock chips. So gotcha. it means that it's going to take even more to really break through the film. Awesome. So I got a couple samples here. All right. So in my hand right here, I have two samples of the 10 mil and the 8 mil product. And I, I obviously you can't feel the difference here. And you really can't even see the difference because it's, these are optically clear, right? Uh, but in my hands, you could definitely feel, you know, the, the thickness of the 10 and, um, oh, it's not as pliable. It's, it's a not as thicker. pliable. So it's harder to apply actually too. Correct. Yeah, gotcha. So I got to talk about my, my 720S. We were out to eat and uh, I came back and that thing got a huge door ding. And uh, Brandon, we had the Expel product on that as well. And uh, I mean, it was a gash, just just nasty. And I thought I thought it was done though, because McLaren paint's tough to, you can't touch it up. It's a special Correct. volcano paint or Azores or whatever I had. And uh, so I brought it by, we peeled off that piece big gashing hole in the Expel, but underneath yeah, the, the paint was, was perfect. Absolutely. So that film completely saved the paint, yeah. saved it from a repaint, and you were in and out on the same day. The film was actually, was that, yeah, I mean, totally saved the repaint, and uh, it's just something you gotta have on these cars, because Correct. if you're parking and someone dings you, you're protected. If you pick up a rob chick, you're protected and everything. So if you're gonna do he heavy use on the track, or you want that more protection, you know, make sure you check out this, uh, the 10 mil product from Expel. So let's talk about the panels we did on this car and the wrap that I'm gonna do. The full front, we did the doors, we did the mirrors, and it's all done. You can't, I mean, I'm gonna zoom in here. You can, The car just looks amazing. I mean, just super, super clear, super shiny. And uh, you know, if you look in here, the edges are wrapped. Brandon has a machine that does custom cutting. And back here, you can see we got a big roll of the uh, Expel Ultimate. Ultimate sitting right here ready to be cut so this is a pretty wicked machine 
This is the Expel DAP pattern database. Uh, so basically it's a large software uh, platform that allows us to have kits for many different cars, different kits for the entire vehicle. Um, so this pattern system allows us to take kits for each individual piece and modify them to our liking and basically customize the kit to each individual car. Perfect, yeah, it just looks just amazing. So we did it all the way up, we did the rockers down here. This actually front lower area is done in like a matte, what do you call uh, this? So this is the Expo Stealth Paint Protection Film. Okay. So this is their matte film, so it's designed for matte painted portions of the car. Um, basically keeps it looking the OEM finish without altering yeah, it. Yeah, that just looks awesome right here too. Also on the car we did Expel Tint. It's sure. the XR Plus material. Yes, so XR Plus is Expel's top line ceramic film. So on this specific car, we did the 20% VLT rated film. So uh, super high heat rejection, UV rejection, and overall slightly dark in the car. So you can see how basically going from a clear window, you have a much darker appearance yeah, now. Yeah, wow, this just looks incredible. All right, so usually I don't actually tint the windows. If the car comes tinted, I'll tint it. But in this case, I wanted blacked out windows because I am wrapping the car from Ferrari, you can get an optional bicolor or blacked out roof on this car. My cousin actually got a similar red with the blacked out roof. It is a $12,000 option from Ferrari just to paint the roof black. And um, I didn't do that. So I'm going to wrap my roof black. Now we got a special black material here right. that uh, just looks, looks really, really wicked. Uh, I put up some pictures. You can see what it looks like with the black roof. But basically, we're going to black out this the entire roof down to here, and you can see it's just going to look really, really wicked. This is actually, I think, the first car I've ever wrapped. Of course, we're not going to wrap the whole car. A little bit of clickbait there. Not much, though, but I definitely am changing the color. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Black roof, no black roof. I think it changes it up. I think it's going to look really, really cool, I like it. and I'm excited to do it. So, unfortunately, we had to order the material. It's not here yet, uh, but you will see in an upcoming video. Blacked out roof of the Ferrari. F8 Tributo. I think it's going to look super, super wicked. Of course, we got the Evo over here. Different color red. You can definitely see Rosso Mars, Rosso Scuderia. A little more orange in this paint. Uh, under the lights, you can really notice it. Out in the sun, not so much, but it really, really makes the paint pop. All right, Brandon, that is a wrap, literally. literally. It's funny, right? Yeah, I like that. Uh, thanks so much for taking care of the car. You guys got to check out Brandon down here. Hughes Detailing, Miami, Florida, and the Expel product. I'm really, really happy with the results. Thanks so much. Let me know in the comments, what do you want to see the first race of the FA Tributo? Should it be against the Evo or Randy's Pagani? Now, who do you think is going to win? Pagani versus FA Tributo? I don't know. It's a tough choice. Not a tough choice. <laughs> Name it. Uh, F8. So we got a lot of races coming. I'm just going to do F8 versus Evo, F8 versus Pagani. We'll, Randy will bring out the Kona Seg and... I got a Pista lined up to race against the F8. So the Pista is lighter, but this one's a Spider. So I think the weights might offset each other. We could have a really, really good race. Looking forward to get that done. Let me know in the comments what else you want to see the Ferrari F8 Tributo run. And also, if you didn't see, we ran Pista versus 1100 horsepower Shelby Mustang GT500. Link in the description. Make sure you check that out as well. Thanks a lot, Brandon. You're welcome. And uh, we'll be back next time with, next up is the McLaren 765 LT, due by the end of the year. I'm excited. We'll be back here for that too. Thanks for watching.